Hello friends, welcome back to a new lecture. Friends, in this lecture, we will look into credit risk mitigation and the important concept of haircuts. Now friends, this is an important topic, but many students fear from this topic due to lack of clarity. But IIBF also places questions from haircut every year. So it's important for you that you don't miss out this topic. Now friends, I will cover this topic from the point of view of problem solving only and won't go in depth since it will unnecessarily create confusion in your mind. Whatever I will cover in this lecture must be enough to solve the case studies and questions from this topic in your examination. So friends, let's start with the lecture. Friends, banks must use high mitigation techniques of risk which are suitable with the nature, the complexity and the level of risk involved in their activities. And so it must have procedures for establishing and monitoring credit risk mitigation. So what is credit risk mitigation? Friends, credit risk mitigation is basically a technique used by a credit institution to reduce the credit risk connection with exposure and exposures with the credit institution that last to hold. Or in other words, credit risk mitigation techniques refers to institutions collateral agreements that are used to reduce risk arising from credit positions. Next friends, let's see collateralized transactions. So friends, a collateralized transaction is one in which first a bank have a credit exposure or potential credit exposure and second that credit exposure or potential credit exposure is held in whole or in part by collateral posted by a counterparty or by a third party on behalf of the counterparty. Now friends, banks use a number of techniques to mitigate the credit risk to which they are exposed. For example, exposures may be collateralized by first priority claims in whole or in part with the cash or securities or a loan exposure may also be guaranteed by a third party or a bank may buy a credit derivative to offset various forms of credit risk. So in a collateralized transaction, the potential credit exposure is hedged in whole or in part by collateral posted by a counterparty or by a third party on behalf of the counterparty. Now friends, this collateral can be taken into account via the comprehensive approach or via simple approach. Now banks can use either of these two approaches in credit risk mitigation for the banking book. But please note for the trading book, only the comprehensive approach can be applied. Now friends, before moving ahead, please note case studies plays very important role in clearing CIB. Most often candidates who are stuck in this paper often fails to crack the case studies in examination. So if you haven't enrolled into my extensive BFM case studies course, then enroll it today itself. As this course may be the difference between your passing and failing in BFM paper. The format of each lecture is that I will first make you grasp the theoretical concept of case study and then we will solve a detailed case study. Just for example, if the case study covers gap analysis, then first we will cover the theoretical aspect of gap analysis and then we will solve the detailed case study with respect to gap analysis. So friends, even if you haven't finished your textbooks, even then you can easily grasp the concept. All the links to join my BFM case studies class is there in description to this video. So do join it today itself. Now friends, in our syllabus, we have to primarily deal with the comprehensive approach. So in comprehensive approach, when taking collateral, bank needs to calculate their adjusted exposure to a counterparty for credit adequacy purposes in order to see the effects of that collateral. Now banks are in fact required to adjust both the amount of exposure to the counterparty and the value of any collateral received in support of that counterparty to take account of possible future fluctuations. Now friends, these adjustments are nothing but haircuts. Now over the years I have seen many students are confused with the term haircuts. So let's understand this in simple way. So haircut is essentially a discount to the value of posted collateral. In other words, a haircut of X% percent means that for every unit of collateral posted, only 1 minus X% percent of credit will be given. This credit is also referred to as valuation percentage. Now cash typically has a haircut of 0% and a valuation of 100%, while the riskier securities have higher haircut percentages and lower corresponding valuation percentages. So for example, if a particular sovereign bond has a haircut of 2% and a collateral call of rupees 1 lakh is made, only 98% of collateral's value is credited for collateral purposes. That is, in order to satisfy a rupees 1 lakh collateral call, 
rupees 1 lakh 2041 of the sovereign bond must be posted now we got this 1 lakh 2041 by dividing 1 lakh by 0.98 so friends as you can see the riskier securities have greater haircuts to account for their volatility which in fact may lead to a decline in their value so in the order of increasing riskiness and higher haircuts cash typically has no haircuts followed by high quality government bonds triple a rated corporate bonds structured notes or products and finally equities and commodities next friends key factors to consider when assessing haircuts are time to liquidate collateral then volatility of the collateral's underlying market and the default risk maturity and liquidity of the security so assessing haircuts will often depend upon the current market conditions using sophisticated value at risk calculations now these are not in our syllabus so i will skip this now friends before moving ahead don't forget to get your cib masters pack which is a pack of four books these first two are secret sauce books which are in fact summarized notes and these last two are question banks of abm and bfm respectively you can also get individual books as per your needs all the links are there in description to this video so don't miss out on these friends you can also get retail banking 1000 series which contains chapter wise questions and detailed case studies get your copies today itself by clicking the links in the description lastly always get updated editions since i update all these question banks after every 6 months that is after exams let's move forward with our lecture now friends let's do a simple question to get the concept clarity and the question is assume a sovereign bond has a haircut of 5% and is used for a collateral call of rupees 1 lakh what amount is credited if rupees 1 lakh bond is submitted and what amount of bond is needed for rupees 1 lakh to be credited respectively and the options given are these so friends as you have learned earlier a haircut is essentially a discount to the value of posted collateral in other words a haircut of x percent means that for every unit of collateral posted only 1 minus x percent of credit will be given now this credit is also referred to as valuation percentage so if a particular sovereign bond has a haircut of 5% and a collateral call of rupees 1 lakh is made only 95% of collateral's value is credited for the collateral purposes that is in order to satisfy a rupees 1 lakh collateral call a sovereign bond of rupees 105263 must be posted now we got this 105263 by dividing 1 lakh by 0.95 so friends as you can see the correct option for the given question is option c next friends let's see eligible financial collateral friends the following collateral instruments are eligible for recognition in comprehensive approach the first is cash then second is gold then third is debt securities rated by a recognized external credit assessment institution now friends this is a long table and i have attached a pdf of this table along with this lecture you can download this and keep this for your reference next friends let's see the calculation of capital requirement so friends for a collateralized transaction the exposure amount after risk mitigation is calculated as e star equals maximum of 0 comma e multiplied by 1 plus h e minus e multiplied by 1 minus h c minus h f x now friends this is the most important equation in haircuts and most often questions in haircut topic revolves around this equation only so if you are short on time then at least learn the application of this formula now in this formula e star is the exposure value after risk mitigation e equals current value of exposure H E equals haircut appropriate to the exposure. Now, friends, these are different weights and is as per table attached with this lecture. You can download the attachment. Friends, frankly, examiner should give these weights in your question as practically it is impossible to remember all the risk weights. Then C is the current value of the collateral received. Then H E is the haircut appropriate to the collateral. Now, these weights are also as per table attached with this lecture. Frankly, examiner should give this also in your lecture as it's practically impossible to remember all the risk weights. And finally, H F X is the haircut appropriate for currency mismatch between the collateral and the exposure. Now, friends, H F X equals zero if exposure and collateral are in same currency, and H F X equals zero point zero eight where exposure and collateral are in different currencies. Now, please remember this point as examiner won't give this in your examination. 
Also note the exposure amount after risk mitigation is multiplied by the risk weight of the counterparty to obtain the risk weighted asset amount for the collateralized transaction. Now friends another important point to remember here is that this term that is C multiplied by 1 minus HC minus HFX gives the haircut adjusted collateral value. So do remember this as questions in examination have been asked in past from this part as well. Now if you are feeling bit confused then these points will get cleared once we will do some case studies in few minutes. Sometimes the best way to understand the concept is by way of problem solving only. Next friends let's see the treatment for transactions where there is a mismatch between the maturity of counterparty exposure and the collateral. So when there is a maturity mismatch with the recognized credit risk mitigants that is collateral on balance sheet netting guarantees and credit derivatives the following adjustment will be applied that is pa equals that is pa equals c star multiplied by small t minus 0.25 divided by capital t minus 0.25 where PA is the value of credit protection or credit risk mitigation adjusted for maturity mismatch. Then C star is the credit protection, example collateral amount or guarantee amount adjusted for any haircuts. Then small t is the minimum of capital T and residual maturity of credit protection arrangement expressed in years. And finally capital T is minimum of 5 and residual maturity of exposure and this is also expressed in years. Next one is where the collateral is a basket of assets, the haircut on the basket will be simply H equals summation of AI multiplied by HI, where AI is the weight of assets in the basket and HI is the haircut applicable to that asset. Next let's see adjustment for different holding periods and non-daily mark to market of remargining. Friends for some transactions depending on the nature and frequency of the revaluation re and remargining provisions different holding periods are appropriated. So the minimum holding period for various products is summarized as in this table. That is if the transaction is repo style transaction then minimum holding period is 5 business days on the condition of daily remargining. Then second is other capital market transactions here the minimum holding period is 10 business days and the condition is daily remargining. And lastly for secured lending minimum holding period is 20 business days and the condition is daily revaluation. So friends when the frequency of remargining or revaluation is longer than the minimum, the minimum haircut numbers will be scaled up depending on the actual number of business days between remargining or revaluation using this formula. That is H equals HM square root of NR plus TM minus 1 divided by TM. Where H is the haircut, HM is the haircut under minimum holding period, then TM is the minimum holding period for the type of transaction. And lastly, NR is the actual number of business days between remargining for capital market transaction or revaluation for secure transactions. Next friends, when a bank calculates the volatility on a TN day holding period, which is different from the specified minimum holding period that is TM, the HM will be calculated using the square root of time formula. That is HM equals HN then square root of TM divided by TN. Now here TN is the holding period used by a bank for deriving HN and HN is the haircut based on the holding period TN. For example for banks using the standard supervisory haircuts the haircut will be scaled up or down depending on the type of transaction and the frequency of remargining or revaluation using the formula that is H equals S10 multiplied by square root of NR plus TM minus 1 divided by 10. Here H is the haircut. S10 is the 10 business day standard supervisory haircut for instrument. Then NR is the actual number of business days between remargining for capital market transactions or revaluation for secure transactions. And finally, TM is the minimum holding period for the type of transaction. Now, friends, over the years, I have seen questions are rarely asked from this part in examination. But still, you should know the basic formulas in case you find a simple formula based question. As you can see, I have not gone into depth here. IFBF primarily focuses around that calculation of exposure value after risk mitigation that is E star, which was the formula that we learned earlier at the start, that is this formula. Next let's see for currency mismatches. Friends where the credit protection is denominated in a currency different from that in which the exposure is denominated, 
that is there is currency mismatch the amount of exposure deemed to be protected will be reduced by the application of a haircut that is hfx that is ga equals g multiplied by 1 minus hfx where g is the nominal amount of credit protection and hfx is the haircut appropriate for currency mismatch between the credit protection and underlying obligation so friends this is all the theory that is enough to tackle case studies from haircuts topic as you can see i have kept this simple and not gone into depth as haircut is one topic which requires complex calculations which is in fact not required for cib purposes just revise this theory before your examination with respect to haircut topic and revise the case studies which we are going to discuss again and again so let's do some case studies to get the clarity of concept that we have just learned and the first case study is a bank has an exposure towards a term loan facility of rupees 100 lakhs the tenor of loan is 1 year the bank has received debt security as collateral which is rated a plus there is no maturity mismatch between the exposure and collateral but there do exist currency mismatch the collateral received by the bank qualifies for recognition under credit risk mitigation then haircut appropriate to exposure is assumed to be 0% next haircut appropriate to the collateral is 1% and lastly current value of collateral given is 85 lakhs now what is the exposure value after credit risk mitigation and the options given are these friends as we have learned earlier in the lecture that the exposure amount after risk mitigation is calculated as e star equals maximum of 0 comma e multiplied by 1 plus h e minus c multiplied by 1 minus h c minus h f x where e star is the exposure value after risk mitigation e is the current value of the exposure h e is the haircut appropriate to the exposure c is the current value of the collateral received h c is the haircut appropriate to the collateral and h f x is the haircut appropriate for currency mismatch between the collateral and exposure so friends our only task here is to search for these in our question statement Now in the given question the current value of exposure that is e is given as 100 lakhs haircut appropriate to the exposure that is he is given as 0 then current value of collateral is given as rupees 85 lakhs then haircut appropriate to the collateral that is hc is given as 1% that is 0.01 then haircut appropriate for currency mismatch between collateral and exposure that is hfx will be 8% that is 0.08 Now friends please note that this is not given in the question but we have discussed this in the theory part earlier also please remember this as IIB have usually twist the questions around this concept so friends finally let's put all these values in the formula for exposure amount after risk mitigation that is e star equals maximum of 0 comma 100 multiplied by 1 plus 0 minus 85 multiplied by 1 minus 0.01 minus 0.08 On solving this, we get maximum of zero comma hundred minus eighty five multiplied by zero point nine one, which finally gives maximum of zero comma twenty two point six five or twenty two point six five lakhs. So the exposure value after risk mitigation will be simply twenty two point six five lakhs. So the correct option for the given question is option D. So friends, with this, I wind up this lecture. I hope all the case studies are clear to you, and also this very important concept of haircut is also clear to you. please revise all these case studies again and again before your examination this haircut topic is very important with respect to your bfm paper so thank you and i will meet you again in next lecture